Jobless, 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 Jobless. Yo, on one baby, born in type, I'm from the 303. Suburban background, cul de sac, house was red and green. Frosted flakes, walks to school, were part of the daily routine. Good morning, OG Max. Your heart rate is elevated. Shall I record a workout? Based on historical data, he is either pacing, puffing, or pondering at this time of the morning. <laughs> yes, I'm just pacing. Um, you know, I, so first of all, you guys, congratulations. Our first video has been received tremendously. We have so many queries and, and questions coming in. Yes, searches for AI Toolbox Bootcamp have risen by 357%. I'm very excited. Run all systems and task checks. 100 all is good OG Max. What is on your mind? Well, what's on my mind is I've been having this idea about trying to do some sort of Black History Month tribute, featuring all of these amazing AI technologies, integrating them to tell some sort of story, and I just can't decide on which story to tell. Perhaps this is a good time for the Dr. Max E.T. Call Your Tribute Project? Yes, absolutely, Amaya. I thought about doing a documentary on my dad. Dr. Maxi T. Collier. I am proud to share the legacy of Dr. Maxi T. Collier, psychiatrist, public health administrator, among the first black graduates of Vanderbilt University, the first African-American health commissioner of Baltimore. Born March 30, 1945, sunset April 22, 1994. Shall we begin on this now? No, I need that documentary on my father to... We need more time than what I can do right now. What do you have in mind? Well, there's all sorts of folks who are always getting attention during Black History Month. Harriet Tubman. Frederick Douglass. I want someone that's lesser known. George Washington Carver. Zora. Neil Hurston. Who? Oscar Michaud. Fannie Lou Hamer. How about Louis Latimer? Louis Latimer. Born September 4th, 1848 in Chelsea, Massachusetts. Of course. Latimer. Latimer is here. Perfect. Yes. Latimer, let's do a little documentary about your namesake. Louis H. Latimer, inventor and engineer. Yes. Louis H. Latimer. Loading. Meanwhile, Amaya, can you pull up a few points of information on Louis Latimer? Preparing documentary assets now. Wonderful. Okay, Lou too. Meanwhile, you put together a little quiz, a little game, or some interactive activities. On it. All right, so that's our plan. We'll put together a documentary called The Light of Louis Latimer. Huh. Um. No. Okay. Long live Louis Latimer. Maybe. Uh. Okay. Louis Latimer, engineer, inventor. Um, uh. perhaps we could try something else. Okay, we'll come up with the title, you guys. But that's the idea. We're going to tell the story of Louis H. Latimer, the namesake for our Latimer search engine. Yes, that would be most appropriate. Louis H. Latimer was a highly skilled inventor and engineer. Louis Latimer was among my most trusted collaborators. Yes, Louis Latimer. I'm Louis Latimer, inventor, engineer, and an all-around creative mind. Allow me to share with you some of the exciting stories of my life and the challenges I faced. Born in 1848 in Chelsea, Massachusetts, Latimer was the youngest of four children, parents who had escaped slavery in Virginia and sought refuge in Massachusetts. My journey wasn't easy. I faced many challenges, including being born into poverty and facing racial discrimination. But I never let that get me down. I used my education and creativity to rise above it all. Latimer joined the U.S. Navy at the age of 16 and served as a landsman during the Civil War. After his discharge, he began working as an office boy in a patent law firm where he honed his skills in drafting and sketching. He quickly rose through the ranks and became the firm's head draftsman, earning $20 per week. And then there was a time I worked with Alexander Graham Bell. Hey, yo. Bro, K 
Can you hear me now? Okay, bet. We're on a mission to bring the world of telecommunications to new heights. Yes, Louis Latimer. LL and I were young men, I was just 29, that day, we rushed to file my patent for the telephone. We had to make haste, cause that sneak Gray was trying to beat us. But thanks to Liu, we made it. It was a partnership that would change the world forever. He worked alongside Alexander Graham Bell, Hiram Maxim, and Thomas Edison, developing and improving upon electric filament manufacturing techniques. Louis Latimer was among my most trusted collaborators. His genius works helped me create a light bulb that lasted longer than any others before it. I also had the honor of working with Thomas Edison. We worked together on various projects, and he taught me a great deal about the field of electrical engineering. Lewis also helped set up electric lighting systems in cities across the country and around the world. I led a team of engineers to design and build a new system for the street lighting. He received several patents for his inventions. It was the year 1881, and I was defending my patent for an improved electric lamp filament. It was a grueling process, but I was determined to protect my invention, and I succeeded. He was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame for his groundbreaking work. I was a lecturer and an activist. I used my platform to educate others about the importance of science and technology, and I fought for the rights of people of color. Latimer passed away in 1928 at the age of 80, leaving behind a legacy of innovation and determination that continues to inspire others to this day. Imagine what it was like for Louis Latimer to help bring lights and electricity to cities for the first time ever. That is a true pioneer, a trailblazer who still impacts our lives decades later. The work that Louis Latimer conducted as an inventor and engineer makes it possible for future engineers like me to explore new worlds in science and technology. Thank you, Mr. Latimer. Thank you, Mr. Lewis Latimer, for overcoming life's challenges and blazing so many trails in science, technology, and social activism. Thank you, my friend. Life has its challenges, but I learned that it's how you respond to them that defines you. Don't let anything stand in your way and never stop chasing your dreams. That's what I did, and it led me to a life filled with excitement and impact. Who knows what you will achieve if you follow in my footsteps? Great work, team. I think we effectively demonstrated some of these tools. Good work, guys. You as well. Go, team. Thank you, Mr. Latimer. Three, two, one, roll credits. Ten feet maker, a very unique combo. Appreciate and seize the day like there's no tomorrow. Creative at heart, storytelling's a part of my DNA. In my blood to paint clear pictures of the things I say Come from a family creatives that makes me an instant native I can be very persuasive but keep to myself non-invasive Computer on in my seat with Haley songs on repeat Work hard, grind sit on my feet Make my own choices, I'm a king Ayy Make my own choices, I'm a king